the fragile relations between South Africa and America continue to dominate the headlines. President Cyril Ramaphosa says despite the U.S. ambassador's claim that uh, South Africa armed Russia for the ongoing war in Ukraine, ties between the two countries remain strong. The president's special envoy sent to the U.S. has also sought to give assurance that the differences on some issues have not soured relations. For more analysis, I'm joined by Professor John Stremla from the International Relations Department at Wits University. Good afternoon, Prof, and uh, good to have you on the program this afternoon. It's perhaps one of the biggest diplomatic disputes ever between uh, the U.S. and South Africa, raising new questions and also tanking the local currency market, uh, also threatening thousands of um, African jobs and still not providing any definitive answers on whether South Africa has, uh, as has been reported so far, supply these arms to Russia. Uh, give us your general observations around this uh, apparent diplomatic row and comments coming from President Cyril Ramaphosa are saying that he finds the ambassador's uh, comments to be very distasteful. <laughs> well, he, he certainly would uh, uh, because uh, Ruben Brigadi was quite un, unequivocal when he uh, called out uh, this uh, Lady R uh, ship that was uh, docked in Simonstown back in December. And we never really got to the bottom of what was transpiring. There was a lot of press reports at the time, time and it sort of disappeared. But the frustrations that the uh, Americans seem to have, uh, have, have experienced uh, was brought to a head by uh, Ambassador Brigadier's uh, statement, which he since, since then has, has apologized for as undiplomatic, but nevertheless, it did air uh, a, a very real issue that is um, at the heart of a lot of the discussions that are going on between the U.S. And, um, and, and, and South Africa. And I think that is to the good of uh, our, our public debate, which is, is transpiring here and on, on the media and in, um, in the U.S. and elsewhere. Now, there have uh, since been developments. Uh, firstly, uh, plans to also establish a probe, uh, which will be led by a retired judge, to look into the matter. Uh, give us your analysis of this. Well, it's a little early because we uh, only had this announcement, um, which I think is a, a, a useful step, yeah. a, a, even though there is a record of, of kicking things down the road by, by uh, having a, a commission look into uh, uh, an, an accusation, but I think this has now uh, reached a stage where, given that there is a very real political problem facing South Africa domestically because of load shed and because of the uh, state capture uh, residual effects, and by the way, there's an, a huge problem affecting American democracy. If you, if you had Donald Trump as president, this issue would be moot because uh, Donald Trump was very friendly with uh, Vladimir Putin and would think that the invasion of uh, Ukraine was probably an okay thing. Um, so that you, 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 you've got two po political cir circumstances where by now uh, the, the Russians have certainly uh, proven that they would, um, it, it's been confirmed by the Mueller report, uh, 700 pages, that in the 16, 2016, the Russians really interfered very much in support of Donald Trump's candidacy, and they may have tried that in 2020 as well, and he almost came close to winning. So that, um, uh, you know, the, 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 the South African democracy is wide open, mm -hmm. and uh, there's a lot of disinformation that is circulating around. And so Reuben Brigadier at least has focused on where is the truth about um, the relationship in, in, um, in, in, in regard to this um, uh, arms uh, uh, sh shipment uh, that uh, uh, has been uh, vetted in the papers and, and been the source of some uh, speculation. Certainly in our chat group at the ANC uh, a local branch, it's, it's a hot issue. Yeah. Now, even further, the, the U.S. Secretary of State, uh, Antony Blinken, has since confirmed that uh, talks with the International Relations Minister, Naledi Pando, uh, where they also reaffirmed the strong ties between the two countries. Uh, now, the call between the two leaders uh, also came as uh, Pando met with uh, the ambassador uh, of the U.S., uh, that's uh, Ruben Brigati, 
who had accused South Africa of arming Russia. Now, Blinken said that uh, he had discussions with uh, Minister Naledi Pando, and this involves strengthening relations on trade, health, uh, energy, and other areas between Pretoria and Washington. Uh, are you indeed convinced that these tensions have uh, apparently simmered down? I mean, you take comments from the president uh, as well, saying that uh, the ambassador has apologized uh, for making these uh, particular comments, uh, but also raising his own concerns of how the comments were made. Well, exactly, and, and uh, it, it is important to point out that um, both South Africa and the U.S. have very troubled histories of racism, white racism, mm. that they're trying to overcome through democratic means, and they're wide open systems, and uh, it's no secret that Vladimir Putin and to some extent Xi Jinping in China don't like uh, open uh, uh, d d democratic systems. and, and uh, uh, that the, the, the way in which that the U.S. Uh, South African relationship has evolved in the uh, 2003 intervention in, in Iraq, which was a misguided thing that was roundly criticized by uh, President Mbeki and, and President Mandela, uh, there were no weapons of mass destruction. So there is a, always a question of whether or not the intelligence that the uh, ambassador gave on on the uh, Lady R was accurate or not, mm -hmm. but let's hope that we can get to the bottom of it. And I think it's extremely important for you and the press to continue to push us all for the latest um, speculation, but also uh, facts as they become known. Also interesting is that uh, President Ramaphosa also uh, announced that he had a discussion with his uh, Russian uh, counterpart, that's uh, President Putin out in Russia, uh, saying that that telephone conversation happened yesterday in which uh, he reiterated his stance on the matter, South Africa's stance, uh, calling for uh, more deliberations or, or negotiations to help end this uh, conflict in Ukraine. Uh, what do you make of those comments? Well, we all hope that there will be a peaceful resolution, but it will take Zelensky and the Ukrainians and the um, uh, Russians of uh, Vladimir Putin to find a, a, a path forward. Uh, in, 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 the, in the meantime, I think it's extremely important for all countries to work for um, a peaceful resolution. And by the way, the, the, the South African uh, Conventional Arms Committee is, is very strict, stringent on, on exports, but what we don't know and still don't know is, uh, you know, was this a delivery of, 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 um, of ammo that had been bought before the war and that the Russians would like to keep? And so it's been shifted back and forth. And that would be, you know, kind of a lend lease uh, arrangement and not, a, not a, uh, uh, an outright um, conveyance of, of military equipment, but it would have the same effect because it, it is the case that um, Russia is, is, is really trying to uh, destroy uh, Ukraine, and we all know that, and the Ukrainian people are suffering grievously. So um, it is a concern for all of the international community, uh, and, and this knock-on effects of, uh, on food and other, other uh, uh, costs involved uh, are horrific for Africa. So we'd like to get this thing behind us, but... Uh, Russia invaded uh, a sovereign uh, neighbor. Also interesting are the comments coming from other political players uh, here in South Africa, notably the EFF uh, accusing the, the U.S. of simply being uh, a crybaby and trying to use uh, its influence to somehow coerce South Africa into carrying out the, uh, the arrest warrant uh, as issued by the ICC uh, if and when indeed President Putin does land on South African soil. Uh, give us your analysis of uh, these comments coming from the Red Berets. <laughs> Look, uh, Reuben Brigadier has been very clear. South Africa is a sovereign nation. It, it can make its choices, but its choices have consequence. And uh, the, the, uh, uh, whether or not the, the ICC, which the, the U.S. and Russia and Ukraine and China are not members of or parties to, um, would in this instance uh, uh, lead to a, a kind of situation that we had when uh, President Bashir was here and he had to be shuttled out because the courts started to uh, take action. And uh, uh, that would happen again, I think, in, in the light of, uh, of, of South Africa's being a party to the uh, ICC. But that's between South Africa and the ICC, and it's between South Africans 
and uh, and and the Russians and and within the BRICS context and and so I don't think that the U.S. would would have one view that one way or the other. I want to wrap up our conversation by also taking an, another quote from uh, that discussion that uh, President Cyril Ramaphosa or the announcement that he made earlier on in, in Durban, uh, saying that the U.S. is uh, a political and also economic uh, partner that uh, really cannot be ignored. Uh, perhaps remind our listeners about these uh, diplomatic ties uh, well, as well as these uh, trading ties between South Africa and the U.S. Well, as, as Ruben Brigadier said uh, in, in his Sunday Times article a few weeks ago, uh, the ANC uh, policy paper does not acknowledge that PEPFAR and the AGOA have been very instrumental and the corporate uh, ties that e exist are very dense and complex. That's a particular complaint about uh, a faction in the a ANC. But the, but the relationship between the two countries is very extensive, and even though uh, the, the South Africa was not at all uh, happy and criticized uh, the invasion of, uh, of Iraq, PEPFAR was started by George W. Bush and has benefited the uh, uh, HIV victims uh, uh, enormously over the years. And I think similarly, uh, this uh, little uh, te te tempest in a, a, a di diplomacy will will move beyond, uh, and and the uh, relationship will 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 flourish again, uh, because they are two very very similar um, uh, pr problematic uh, democracies that need each other. Professor John Stremlau giving us uh, his analysis over that uh, developing story of uh, that apparent diplomatic row between Washington and Pretoria.